Okay, if you folks haven't heard of this gal, I feel so sorry for her. Wonderful, absolutely phenomenal Finnish gal who's stuck in Belgrade. And look at her. <laughs> She's about to right with me. I'm in number 40 today. So we're together in this boat. And she listen to this song she sang. It's really funny. She's a really she does a great job with her videos too. Oh, Charlie boy. The curfew, curfew's calling. From beer to beer and down to Novi Sad. The curfew's on. And all those streets are dying. Tis you and I must go so the elderly can walk. <laughs> but let's come back when tomorrow at 5 a.m. comes. Or when the shops start opening again. Serbia will be here in sunshine or in shadow. Charlie boy, they love, they love you so. Laugh How about him. that? <laughs> you know my falsetto. Hey, ciao, ciao, my friends. How you doing? Hope everybody's doing well on this Saturday. Day number 40. Wow, this is a special day. 40 days of uselessness. Uh, I've accumulated. <laughs> you can say it's Saturday. We're in the middle of our 59 hour curfew uh, that's in place until Monday morning at 5 a.m. And you guys were privileged enough uh, at the beginning of this video to see that wonderful young lady. Check out her videos. She's right along with me. We're both on day number 40. The wonderful, beautiful uh, charismatic Finnish gal uh, over there in Belgrade. She's stuck here, uh, stuck here in Serbia also. Um, and her, her little song cracked me up. That's so funny. Uh, she was making fun of me for um, how I was out drinking outside and saying how pathetic my life was <laughs> and a useless piece of garbage that I am. White trash, trailer trash, unemployed, drinking a beer in public <laughs> nine in the morning. So she did it too. So a young lady, uh, you're amazing. You know, it, and the song really made me laugh. You know, you put a smile on my, uh, you, you brightened, you, the cloud was lifted. The gloomy cloud was lifted over my uh, my morning when I saw that. So thank you, and I wish you well. Hope you, hope you get a chance to get home sometime soon. Uh, you and I will probably be at day number 151 of our self-quarantine here. And then what are we going to talk about, you know? I don't know if people say it to you, but they always say, can you make, people say, can you make this more interesting? It's so boring. <laughs> How? What am I supposed to do, you know? You saw how uh, going down the streets, random streets. What do you What do you do? You know, <laughs> I tend to try to focus on the beauty. Okay, this is really awesome. Wow, you know, I've always been though. It's not really fake. This is how I am. I've always been very like too much for some people. You know, some people that meet me that are reserved people are really. Oh my God, what's he snorting? What's up his nut? You know. And it's not the case. I'm I'm drug free. Only thing that's in my veins is alcohol and caffeine. I mean, this is green tea. You know, people think, my God, I want some of what you're on. I'm always that way, you know. But anyway, I hope you get a chance to get home, girl. You know, really. I wish you all the best. I'm not a guy who typically watches YouTube videos. Um so, you know, I don't, I don't see too many. I've seen like three or four of yours and no disrespect. I just don't watch that. I, I watch, uh, only thing I watch on YouTube is like, uh, crime things, documentaries. I'm a big documentary geeky guy, music videos. Um, <laughs> I hate to admit this, uh, my 600 pound life. Uh, I was really addicted to that series, My 600 Pound Life. Oh my God. That yeah, makes me feel better about my, <laughs> my stomach, you know? 
Uh, anyway, wish you well, girlfriend. Anyway, my friends, let's get to this. I've got something interesting, you know? Since my videos are boring, people say, can you make this more interesting? <laughs> I wish I could make it interesting. How do I make my life more interesting at this moment? It's not possible, I don't think. Unless I continue to just guzzle, <laughs> then maybe it'd be more interesting. Anyway, somebody sent me a, a cool thing to do at the end of the video to answer 10 random questions just as fast as I can. 10 random questions. I read the first one, just so you know, because I just wanted to see what the frick it was. Uh, so I'm going to read those at the end. Anyway, we are currently at 7,700. 7,779 cases here in Serbia. Um, I don't know why I'm being so lively about that. 7,779 cases here in Serbia. Um, that's up 151. Um, that's a lie. It's up more than that. That's 151 death. Oh, we're up 296 from yesterday. Total of 5,051 tests were given. That's the most single test given in a single day. So good job, Serbia. The testing numbers are working. The Chinese donations here for those labs are, is paying off. They're able to do more tests. But not only did they do the most um, tests in a day, they also had the most deaths in a day with seven, seven total deaths, which is unfortunate. But out of 5,051 tests, only 296 positive. So that's way better than yesterday. Ah, we're at 151 deaths. God rest their souls. Um, what, what else is going on here? Haircut. I finally scheduled my haircut. My barber shop here, Betcha, here in Novi Sad. You're able to go online and schedule it. So you're, I will proudly show off my hair after nine o'clock in the morning on the 27th. That's Tuesday. I'm gonna look good. Marina's gonna make me look good. Um, what else is going on here? Um, when it comes to this COVID-19 here again, I don't know why I went from that to my hair and then back to this because I'm just that way. I'm disabled, I've got ADHD, okay? I'm crazy. Um, but it said out of 30 social care centers here in Serbia, there's 531 residents of those social care facilities or users. They use, they put the term users in this article. That seems weird. Uh, but there's 531 folks tested positive in these like senior centers, et cetera, dis disabled centers. 131 employees are, have tested positive. Uh, 169 at that gerontology uh, center down in Niche. That's a bunch, you know, 169 of those folks who are already old and decrepit, you know, that's sad. Um, Negotine has become the new hotspot here in Serbia. And it's really odd. That hotspot is like a little belt down there in the center, Serbia. Uh, in Chupria, um, uh, Chichara, what the, what was that one? Somebody, it's so weird, I said the name is Tiny Little Place and, and they somebody was watching from there. Uh, Kruševac and um, Negotin, all down in that area. And Vucic says, the reason that is, he said, you can look on the map, that is where all these diaspora folks, gastrobiters are coming, that's where most of them live. And that's strange, a lot of gastrobiters are from that part. I mean, that, that's so so odd to me. Um, but negative is a new hotspot, so they sent a lot of specialists there. Specialists there. Uh, Voivodina numbers are continuing to just die, nosedive. So good job here in in uh, in our part of Serbia. Uh, Russia. Russia sent three thousand gear uh, protective gear sets for firemen here. Another big donation from Russia. So thank you, Russia. Our our firemen appreciate you. One of my best friends. His dad's a Big fireman there, commander or something in, in Belgrade. Uh, so thank you for taking care of those people, my dear Russian friends. Uh, Nikola Jokic, my dear brother from Denver Nuggets. He did a big donation for this hospital there in Somber. Uh, they didn't specify the dollar figures or anything like that, which doesn't really matter. He, he's, he's uh, you know, got a big heart. Two just awesome people who remind me of the Serbians I know here in Serbia are such a great reflection of Serbian people are Nikola Jokic and Novak Djokovic. They're just so 
fun, lively, everything's like, I don't give a shit. I'm just going to enjoy my life and make sure everybody else smiles. That's kind of how they are. And I love them too. You know, so good on you, Nikola Jokic, to remember somber in their time of need. Uh, Serbia also is being very generous. Uh, Serbia has sent four planes, Air Serbia, and the Serbian government sent four planes of don uh, four plane loads of donations to Italy uh, today, uh, which was great. Protective gear, gloves, etc. So I hope that doesn't turn around to bite us in the ass. You know, um, we're still getting donations from somewhere, and then we're sending donations to Italy. So, uh, but I mean, that's great. I mean, it's that's what this time in, in the world should be about: sharing what you have with ones who need it the most at this moment in time. So, so good for you, Serbia. Alexander Vucic had a quote, and I know y'all want to hear it because you love it when I quote him and I talk about him. He says what they wrote on each box of donation when they sent that to Italy in Italian. It said, we will win together. Be brave, Italy. Serbia is with you. What a powerful, awesome thing to say. Um, back to that certain, there's a certain epidemiologist here in Serbia. I'm not going to say his name because we don't like to mention it because I get yelled at and criticized for being a bot if I say his name. He's just an epidemiologist here in Serbia. He said, today is day, the end of the seven-week period. We're finished. We're seven weeks in, my friends. We're on the start of the eighth week. He said, expect two more weeks of curfew, possibly, but that's not carved in stone yet. But next weekend, more than 99.9% .9 it will be because it's a holiday weekend. Uh, but after that, they don't know. Church of Dan, I guess it, it falls on the Thursday. So they said it'll probably just be a six o'clock curfew, like a normal day, but possibly curfew after that on Friday also. But they haven't determined it just yet. Uh, but he said, give this 10 weeks. The headline was, we will be out of this in three more weeks. That's great. Uh, 10 weeks. We, but we've got to be really, really careful uh, because when we open the borders and the public buses, and the public transportation. He said, we've got to be very, very careful. And I read somewhere today that they're trying to figure out how that's going to go with the buses because they open on uh, Monday, right? The 27th. Um, it said people are going to have to stand in one line, only get on one in one door on the bus. I mean, how's that going to work? People are crammed like sardines in those buses. What are they going to do? I don't see how that's even going to be possible. You know, I bet it's just going to be a mess. Um, as I said, I got a haircut. The, the, the salons are going to be open, but they, they must wear masks, gloves, etc. So I'm going to wear my, my mask, of course, when I go in there to get my haircut. Um, I've got some other, one other thing here. Uh, one in three companies, another article about the economy here, it says one in three companies in Serbia expect losses to exceed 80%. Wow. And it said the others, the other two, expect losses of at least 50%, you know. Man, this is just crippling business, economies, the world, you know? Um, anyway, I was contacted by a TV station here in Serbia. They said, hey, Charles, we're a private TV station. We're non-commercial. We're not going to make any money on this, but we would love to broadcast your daily vlogs. We'll put subtitles on them and put them on our channel. So I thought that was really, really awesome. So you'll see that soon. I'll provide you additional details as I get additional details. And I'm not asking for money. I'm not going to do it for money because I do this for love, man. You know? Uh... So that's, that's really neat. Maybe I'll just branch out and become the next... Ivan Ivanovich, who knows, huh? Um, an also, another cool thing. Um, a certain company has asked me to be their face and voice for the American market for one of their products. Also, I'll provide you additional details on Wednesday when I go look at the products and sample the products, etc. That's really cool stuff. Uh, and the the owner and the the owner of the dis this company in in the USA. Um, they're very well connected folks, very successful folks who have good connections here in Serbia. I'll, I'm not going to divulge what they can assist me with, but it, it'll, it'll be phenomenal for me. So, Dace Bog, 
That's what's great about YouTube. You know, you just upload something and you never know who's watching and, 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 and the outreach that you can get. I've said that so many times, I'm not going to say it anymore, but who cares what I have to say, huh? I know you do not. Anyway, let's get to this. This is going to be fun. Ten random questions, okay? The first question that I've already read, it said, what is one special talent that you have, Charles? You know, I have very few talents. I'm not a very talented, nor am I a very smart guy. I've got a nice personality. I enjoy talking to people. I'm very, very good at automobile sales, but probably my most specific talent, I'm able to say all 45 presidents in about, in less than 15 seconds. Okay? Listen, here we go. <clears throat> I don't even need to practice. I, I love politics and I've always been very interested in politics. I know every single American president, all 45, and I can say them here really quickly. Listen. <clears throat> Let me take a sip. Here we go. <clears throat> Washington Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Taylor, Paul, Taylor, Fremont, Pierce, Buchanan, Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, Hayes, Girlfriend, Arthur, Cleveland, Harrison, Cleveland, McKinley, Roosevelt, Taft, Wilson, Harding, Coolidge, Hoover, Roosevelt, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama, Trump. Get it? One more time. Washington Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Taylor, Paul, Taylor, Fillmore, Pierce, Buchanan, Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, Hayes, Garfield, Arthur, Cleveland, Harrison, Cleveland, Kelly, Roosevelt, Taft, Wilson, Harding, Coolidge, Hoover, Roosevelt, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama, Trump. Okay? I'll say them slow. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Taylor, Polk, Tyler, Fillmore, Pierce, Buchanan, Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, Hayes, Garfield, Arthur, Cleveland, Harrison, Cleveland again. Cleveland was the only president ever to one term and then lose this next one and then run again and win. So Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, Hayes, Garfield, Arthur, Cle let me start over. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Taylor, Polk, Tyler, Fillmore, Pierce, Buchanan, Lincoln, Johnson, Grant, Hayes, Garfield, Arthur, Cleveland, Harrison, Cleveland, McKinley, Roosevelt, and Taft, Wilson, Harding, Coolidge, Hoover, Roosevelt, Truman, Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama, Trump. Okay? So that's my talent. Where's that going to get me in life? Okay, next question here. Random. Let me read it here. Oh, man, my eyes are getting bad. What's in your fridge right now? Oh, what's in my fridge right now? I'll tell you. There's one Botox. There's one half liter of milk. There's two aloe vera energy drinks. A, a jar of honey. A half can of tuna. Three koba sitsa. A half... Head of Kupus, Astaro Praman, Pavlika, Sir, and Salata. And that is it. Number one, if you had the world's attention for 30 seconds, what would you say? If I had the world's attention for 30 seconds, what would you say? Kosovo je Serbiju. Kosovo je Srce Serbiju. How's that? Since the Serbians watching here. Okay. Next question. If you could close one fast food chain due to disgusting food, what would you pick? If I could close one fast food chain, Little Caesars. I hate their pizza. I think it's disgusting. Next question. What part of the human face is your favorite? Part of the human face. What I find really attractive in a woman is like the jawline. Like a, a nice jawline. I think it's really attractive. Like from here to here. I don't know why. Um, next one. If you could be the member of any TV sitcom family, which would it be? Have you ever seen Seinfeld? Seinfeld was one of my favorite sitcoms. And everybody... It used to be my nickname. If you've ever seen the show Seinfeld, there's a guy named Kramer in there. Kramer's a crazy neighbor. He's got curly hair and he always just runs in. Hey, what's going on? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so my baseball coach, he used to call me Kramer. He said, oh, Kramer's in the house because I'm kind of crazy. Kramer's crazy. He's silly, ignorant, outgoing, and that way. I'd be Kramer, okay? Um... If you could lock up one person in a mental institution, who would it be? One person, Donald Trump, my president, I would lock up in a mental institution. Number uh, eight, 
What is the stupidest thing you've done on your own free will? Stupidest thing I've ever done on my own free will. Let me take a sip. What's the stupidest thing I've ever done? I know. I, I used to be kind of a troublemaker in school. Uh, two really stupid things. I found a dead raccoon. Okay, It was a big, dead, bloated, rotted raccoon and a bird. And I took that raccoon. I hid it in my friend's. He had a big car. I hid it in his back seat and shoved that dead bird down between the seats. <laughs> he didn't know about it for like a week and it was hot and nasty. Oh my God, it ruined the whole inside and I ended up having to pay for a new seat uh, in there. Uh, the other one, I called my principal his first name in the USA, you don't do that. I went up to him at this, I was really loud and, and, and obnoxious at these baseball uh, basketball games and this is no shit. I was kicked out of uh, six different stadium or uh, gymnasiums in my community. Believe me or do not, six Places banned me. Diederich, Cumberland, Hudsonville, Casey Westfield, Marshall, and Kansas. I still remember them because I would just, get the, I mean, I was a loud, boisterous fan, so I'd make a good hooligan. Last question. Uh, if you, what, what's the best thing? Man, I cannot hardly read these. What is the best thing before, what was the best thing before sliced bread? What's the greatest thing since sliced bread? I mean, that's kind of a saying of what's, what's the greatest thing, the greatest like invention? I don't know what that means. Baseball. I mean, I'm, I'm a diehard baseball fan. I mean, I think that's the best invention, the greatest thing. That's what I miss the most. Anyway, my friends, that does it for me. My 10 silly questions and a little bit about what's going on here in Serbia on this Saturday, day 40. That's it, my friends. Have a nice Saturday. I'm going to drink a little bit with my buddy on video call now. Ciao, ciao.